Hank's diner in the pool hall next door played a large part in my teenage years. I took Rita to the diner on our first date when we were both juniors in high school. Hank's diner isn't the swinging place it used to be, but Hank still does enough business to keep the place going. How's it going, Hank? Uh, my back's been acting up. Otherwise, not too bad. How are you, Mike? I'm starving. What have you got to eat around here? Like you haven't seen my menu a thousand times. What are you hungry for? Ham and eggs, grits, pancakes? Pancakes? We and I used to come here for pancakes after church. You two were quite an item back when you were in high school. Shame about what happened to her. Real tragedy. Who do you think murdered Rita? Oh, I can't imagine it was anyone from around here. But he's one sick dude, whoever he is. Sick? Murder isn't a disease. It's evil. Relax, Mike. It's just a figure of speech. I don't think anyone's going to show the killer any compassion when they catch up with him. Have you heard any more about the investigation? Deputy Brown stopped by to get some coffee and donuts on his way to Rita's place. He was saying that the FBI might be called in. Doc Larson was telling us some pretty grisly stuff. What did Doc Larson have to say? He wouldn't go into any details because he wants to keep certain things from the public. I haven't seen Doc Larson so excited since that other murder. What other murder? Old man Ramirez. He died in a fire a few weeks back and left his wife a very rich widow. Funny how Rita died so close to his house. I don't see anything funny about Rita's death. Sorry, Mike. Uh, I forgot that you two were friends. It's just that Rita and Ramirez were uh, friends. Some folks saw them walking in the park together and holding hands. I don't believe it. Rita wouldn't fool around with a married man. You're right. It's just gossip. Forget I ever said anything. Rita was murdered in a public park. How could they keep any details secret? Doc Larson and her body moved to the morgue before dawn. Deputy Brown said the sheriff wasn't too happy about that. Didn't give him much of a chance to examine the crime scene first. I need some fresh air. You don't look well, Mike. Why don't you go out for a walk? Nice day for it. I think I'll just do that, Hank. See you later. Take care, Mike. There's Jimmy Gardner and Melissa Fleming. Jimmy's the type of loser I'd expect to see in a place like this. But it's surprising to find the mayor's wife here. Hi, Jimmy. Long time no see. Well, well, it's Mr. Big Shot Ryder. What brings you down to this part of town? Slumming? How about a game of pool? 
Cut the crap, Dawson. We might have been friends once, but that was a long time ago. We were friends in high school. Why are you so angry with me now? Let's just say that you and I don't share the same interests anymore. You're a real tough guy now, aren't you, Jimmy? You got that right, chump. I'm the local wise guy, so stay out of my way. I hear that your interests these days aren't exactly on the up and up. So what? There's a lot going on in this town that ain't exactly on the up and up. Tell me, Jimmy, how come the sheriff leaves you alone? That's easy in this town. That flatfoot doesn't know his butt from an armadillo. But I got the goods on him. He doesn't bother me. What do you know about Sheriff Butler? I know he's down here trying to get away from what happened in Dallas. Yeah, he's a real champion of justice, all right. Maybe I should go. Yeah, get out before I throw you out. Hey, remember me? I'm Mike Dawson. It's been a long time. Not long enough to suit me. But we used to be friends back in high school. You, me, Jimmy, Rita. Used to be. Any friend of Rita is no friend of mine. When did you take up smoking? Don't you know it's bad for your health? Yeah. Well, there's lots of things that are bad for your health. Poor Rita. It's a shame what happened to her. Poor Rita? <laughs> that little tramp had it coming to her. How can you say such things about Rita? Forget it, Dawson. Forget I even said it. Now buzz off. The mayor campaigned on how he was going to rid our streets of the homeless, but I guess they just got driven into sheds like this. Another evil that's been hidden but still exists. I found an old coat hanger. This might be useful. I once read a story about how a thief used a wire to open a lock. Civic Center. We used to joke about the Sheriff's Office, Courthouse, and Morgue all being next door to each other. First they tie them, then they try them, then they fry them. Andy and Barney would be right at home here. But this ain't Mayberry, and unless I can get the sheriff off my back, there ain't going to be a happy sitcom ending. So, how's the murder investigation going, Sheriff? You know, Dawson, they say killers follow the investigations of their own crimes just for the thrill. rumors about the condition of Rita's body. Rumors? What kind of rumors? There was a rumor going around that the body was mutilated? I'll tell you one thing. Doc Larson was having himself a field day. Happier than a pig in slop. I can't reveal details. We have to withhold specific information that only the killer would know. Uh, Dawson?
You make it sound like Doc Larson enjoyed seeing Rita's mutilated body. I tell you, I've never seen the man so excited. He could hardly wait to have the body bundled up and sent off to the morgue. That Doc Larson's one strange guy. Well, you know he was kicked off a of hospital staff, don't you? Something about fooling around with some patient in the hospital morgue. But I shouldn't spread rumors. Do you still think I'm the one who killed Rita? I can't think of anyone else who makes a better suspect. I tell you, if I had one good hard piece of evidence against you, I'd have you behind bars so fast your head would spin. Why do you let a thug like Jimmy Gardner run around? Does he have something on you? Shut your mouth, Dawson. You're pissing me off. Well, I think I'll be going now. Anytime you feel like confessing, Dawson, you come right back. I'll be here. The carnival has been set up here in the park for more than a week now. I wonder when it's going to finally open. I haven't been past the Ramirez Mansion in a long time. It's one of the town's oldest landmarks. They used to own all of the land around the park before they donated it to the town. <laughs> 